Hello, and that was a bit loud. Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. Yeah, it turns out today I didn't have any homework, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of videos here, and then probably read the rest of my uh, distinct readers, I think, or something like that. But I have to read up the rest of my book, which is Ender's Game, if any of you have read it. Leave a comment about what you thought of it, even though that's way off topic. However, last time we got a uh, missile tank and were as headed to Crane, which is possibly my most favorite place in the whole entire Metroid series. Just because of the music and that the fact that in this game, the boss is easy as hell. I can't exactly remember what the best boss was like, but I'm pretty sure he was a bit more difficult than this one. Unless he was easier, I, I can't remember. I think he, it was just like one platform and like he was throwing like quills or something at you. But he threw so many at you that you were sitting there like, really, what the hell? Plus it, he was on a platform in the middle of lava, sort of like what's on the screen now. So you sat there like, oh my god, he keeps throwing me in lava. By the way, that is a super missile. And as you can see, in order to get over there, we'll need the speed boosts. But it's going to be one of those more complicated things. Because you're going to have to be able to, uh, what was what, it called? Like, shine, uh, shine, shine sprite or something like that. And that's, uh, or shine sprint or something. And that's when you stop in the middle of running at high speed. You crouch down, and then you're still flashing, so that means you, you could still possibly run, or jump, in this case, at a high uh, speed. And basically, what that will allow you to do, is if there's like a, a cliff, or an edge, that goes slanted upwards, you'll be able to uh, go ahead and uh, keep going at that high speed and jump to several different places without losing that speed and you'll be able to break break through several of these tiles that require you to be speed and then you sit there like really what the hell why can't i do this anyway as you can see there is an energy tank over here and i am going to get it but in the original best version of the game as i will most likely explain again when I do a Let's Play Metroid mess. You can freeze those, like, claw bat things while they're in the middle of the air so that you can jump on them and get up here. But one shot from the ice beam in this game kills them. So, uh, yeah. In my opinion, you'll either have to wait until you get the, uh, full fully decked out suit near the end of the game and then come back here and get this energy tank or the morph ball ball method or morph ball bomb method as I am doing right here I know I'm pretty sure in a previous video I said I was gonna speed through these but I seem to be talking right through them so yeah it doesn't seem to be really affecting my videos as much as I think they would have Anywho, on Tuka. Ah, I, uh, I lost my train of thought. And yeah, there, we got the energy tank. So now we can continue on to Crane, which is actually a bit more difficult to find, if I remember right. Because you have, there's a certain broken tile in the middle of the hallway that will lead you down to it. Or if you're not focused, then you won't find me. Which, I've had a problem focusing today. So, if I get a bit off track, don't leave crap comments. Because that, that's just rude. Why would you yell at someone if they're sick? Of course, if they're sick, why would they be doing this in the first place? So, there, there's several sides to that kind of theory. But, I don't really care about that right now. I'm talking about Metroid. Yeah, so... I want you to hear this awesome music, so I'll just give it a minute for you to listen to this music. I'll shut up for a couple. 
So, see you in a minute. <laughs> Like I said in the previous video, you have to have the speed boost, which is behind Kraid himself, to do a bunch of stuff, which is why we are here. But in order to get to that speed boost, if I remember right, we have to turn on that power. So that is what we're doing at the moment. We're finding that power source. And, yeah, I'm gonna refill my health real quick. And missiles, but I think my missile tank is full of, yeah. So, missiles are exactly a problem. Oh yeah, to turn on the power, of course, there's gonna be like a mini boss. So... Fail. But the mini... Well, the mini boss is a bit hard if you don't know what to do it. Like most stuff, if you have no clue what you're doing, well, you're, you're gonna fail. But, you know, it, it's basically a, a win lose situation, I suppose. Also, go to the left here. Make sure you keep pressing to the left, otherwise, you'll miss that cliff, and you won't be able to get that missile tank, which I guess is optional. It doesn't really matter, but, you know, the more missile tanks you have, the better. And it does not appear that I can jump up that high, so I have to jump all the way back down here and shoot myself back up there again. And now we have a cliff situation, which if I remember right, yeah, that one up there is covered by a brick, so if I can get back up to that third stone, boom. Just shoot it at a diagonal. It's that easy. Don't like try and jump and get at it or anything like that. Oh yeah, by the way, I was doing this, uh, I was playing this game with a weird controller that I have not used before. So some of my movements may be a bit off. But my usual controllers went out. My Xbox 360 controller, uh, has no batteries in it. I have my PlayStation 2 or PS3 uh, wired controller was being used on a PS3 like it should be. So I had to switch to a PS2 controller with PS uh, with a PS2 controller uh, adapter. And yeah, the controls are a bit weird compared to the usual. PS3 just by a little bit because some of the settings are different. Also, as you can see, there's one little bit off right there. Yeah, that, that's kind of a required that you get here because if I remember right, this is the way to the power room. So, smack that. Right now we can go, yeah, down here. And this is the power room. Get into your morph ball and as you can see, the door shuts sealed behind you, so make sure you're full of health or whatever you need. Turn the power on in here, shoot that, and head to the right, which you get an energy tank. Like I said, most of the energy tanks uh, up to a point are like given to you. 
It's not like, oh, f -f -f you have to go find this, like the one that we got at the beginning of the episode. Most of these ones that are uh, thrown out at you are part of the storyline, and they are thrown out at you. You find them while you're doing whatever you need to do. By the way, this is the boss battle area. Or, many boss area. This boss is actually pretty easy. All you have to do is move to the side, and it will shoot up and grab at something. And if it can't grab Samus, then it will grab one of the boxes. And while it sits there trying to figure out why the heck its mouth is on a box instead of uh, Samus, you get to shoot it with either your ice beam or your missiles, which the missiles, of course, do a whole lot more damage, so go ahead and just shoot it with your missiles, although I don't even start doing that until, like, a bit into the battle, which makes me feel lame. There we go. But missiles are always going to do a bit more damage than the usual, and I moved a bit too soon. Basically, if you look at it while it's sitting there, you can tell when it's about to attack. It'll, it'll like open up twice, and then the third time it shoots out. So, sort of just pay attention. And if it does that, as you can see, all of its teeth are spread out and open. And, yeah, that means it's going to make the lava raise up. As it is doing now. I never get this right, I don't think. And the moment it's done making the lava rise, it's going to attack at you. So, make sure you just pay attention to that kind of stuff. Anywho, yeah, I'm just going to finish up this battle here. And that will probably be it for this episode. I will see you all next time. And let's play Metroid Zero Mission. See y'all.